together with Trinity School of Enlightenment and as we worked together I found him to be a great support and a team player and uh, we got things done as a group as a unit and I praise God for that but one funny thing about Bishop Townsend was uh, he asked for some of my apple dumplings and uh, so I did uh, fix him some apple dumplings and so he um, took them with him on his way to Indianapolis but they stopped uh, halfway between Indianapolis to get rest because they had just come out of a uh, revival in Mississippi and so they left the apple dumpling in the hotel and thought about it when they got a distance from it and they turned around and went back and got the apple dump. And so after they got home, they let me know that they did enjoy the apple dump. And uh, that was one funny thing I, I remember about him. So he, he would truly be missed. He was a great man of God. Bishop Townsend who was a member of the Church of the Living God in his younger days. He and his wife came to fellowship with us when he was in the military as a young man. And uh, we had wonderful services together. Of course, he always was able to deliver the word in a manner in which you got clear understanding. And we're so sorry and so heartbroken that, you know, God has called him home. But we do feel rested and assured that He's in a better place. But we know that this is not our permanent home. It's just a, a way station. Jesus Christ. Yeah. said he loved the world. He didn't say he just loved some people. Yeah, he Amen. He didn't say he just loved the rich people. Yeah. He didn't say he just loved the ones that look good. Yeah. He didn't say just the poor people. Yeah. He didn't say those that are broke, just the broken heart. But he said, for God so loved the world. Yeah.
Uh, Bishop Talon showed us what it means to love God's people, love God's, uh, love the church, and also love life. I am a mountain, I am a tall tree, oh, I am a swift wind, sweeping the country. I am a river, down in the valley. Oh, I'm recalled of a time that me and my wife was driving on a Saturday morning, the sun was shining, it was wonderful outside, and we, as we're coming to this red light, we noticed this uh, drop-top convertible Mercedes. And I began to talk to my wife about how nice this car looked. Uh, the closer we get to this car, lo and behold, who do we see? It's Bishop Townsend. He is enjoying the sun. The sun is shining. The top is off. And he is just enjoying himself. I'm that little bit of hope when my back's against the ropes. I can feel it. I'm the world's greatest. I'm a giant, I am an eagle, oh, I am a lion, down in the jungle, I am a marching band, I am the people, oh, I am a heaven hand, I am a hero, if anybody asks you who I am, just stand up. We work or hold a job in the workforce to meet our obligations and our needs. As part of this strategy between employee and employer, we serve with the expectation if we stay the course and be faithful in our duties, we can expect to build up a good retirement plan with benefits. But the key is our retirement plan is impacted by our service. In the process of serving, we experience some ups and downs. However, the prize is reaching the finish line to benefit from our faithful service. The best retirement plan ever created is God's retirement plan. It is unbeatable. There is no comparison. Let me explain the plan. There is some suffering involved. The devil shall cast certain ones into prison just to try you and see if you can remain faithful as you serve God. I encourage you to hold out and don't give up. Tribulation is involved. You're going to have trials in this plan, but being faithful unto death is part of the plan. The last and final benefit of this plan is a crown of life. In other words, you're going to get a reward because God says in his word, I will give thee a crown of life. So today, I encourage you to stay the course because God has a great reward for us. In my conclusion, Heavenly Father, I pray for each one that hears the sound of my voice that they may be encouraged and strengthened by the few words that I have spoken and serve without fear during this pandemic time. Lord, I pray that they stay the course and endure to the end to receive their crown of life, a reward from you. God bless you.